a dream connects you to the right people. It breaks you beyond all limitations. It's launching you into a new destiny. Painted on a black canvas. 
It's the darkness that allows the, the stars to illuminate. It's the darkness that allows the night sky to be so beautiful. It's the contrast of life that allows us to shine. So just know when you guys are going through something in life, when you guys are going through an obstacle, just like some of those people who were up on the, the screen earlier, Eminem, Albert Einstein, they all went through something dark, but that was their opportunity to shine and overcome. So just realize that. Broken moss. Have you ever been moving really fast in life but felt like you weren't really going anywhere? Well, let me be the first to admit that I have. And this is my story, twisted into rhymes, dedicated to help push you forward. I believe what the doctors told me. The doctors told me that I wasn't going to be able to focus, that I wasn't going to be able to learn anything, and I just wasn't going to do well. So, anytime that something was hard or I didn't get it right away, I just said, no. I have a disease, I have Tourette's Syndrome, I can't. So eventually they put me into special classes and I was even failing out of my special classes. And then one day our mentors in the class, their names were Otto and Edna, and they were the cutest old couple, we called them Grandma and Grandpa. And they came up to me and they said, Lisa, what do you want to be? What do you want to do? I want to be an actress, but I can't. I said, Otto, don't you know why I'm in this class? I have a disease. I have Tourette's Syndrome. There's no way that I can ever sit on screen for more than 30 seconds without twitching. And there's no way that I can ever get A's and B's in my classes to be able to get my work permit. And he looked at me really intensely and he said, so, you can't do it. I said, oh, I have Tourette's Syndrome. He said, that's interesting. Because I'm pretty sure I just saw you talking to this cute blonde boy, and you did not twitch the entire 30 minutes he was standing there. And you were able to focus perfectly well on what he was saying, because I heard you telling your friends about it verbatim right after the fact. And I thought, oh my goodness, he's right. If I can focus on what a cute boy is saying, I can focus on what my history teacher is saying. And at that moment, Something changed for me that changed the rest of my life. I didn't go on medication. I didn't do anything crazy. I just realized that I could. That was it. I realized that I could do it. And over the next six months, I went from getting D's and F's in my special classes to getting A's and B's in regular classes, and I got my work permit. And six months after that, I got my very first show on a network TV show called Malcolm in the Middle. Poverty Tour has inspired me to do what I love and not be afraid of what other people are going to think of me. And I have come out of my shell and I can express myself. And that way you can take whatever frustrations you're struggling with, whatever sadness and pain, and you can put it into something productive. And that way your life will be different. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to Lisa Lee Walt, also Travis Miller. I think I got one more for you. You'll notice that you, just because of what you've been through, doesn't have to determine what your life is going to be like. Yeah.